As COVID-19 cases climb, so are the numbers of so-called long-haul patients whose physical and mental symptoms persist long after others recover. It's a reminder that there's still much we don't know about this illness and a warning for people to protect themselves and their families this holiday season. Sarah Dolliff has our story. <laughs> months after supposedly beating COVID-19 and still struggling to shake mysterious, debilitating symptoms. I had an excruciating jaw pain on my left side. Right now I'm on three inhalers and oxygen. Just making the bed, I can't, it um, takes my breath away. Research suggests as many as 10% of coronavirus patients go on to become so-called long haulers who still aren't back to normal weeks or months after diagnosis, prompting hospitals like UAB Medicine in Alabama to establish specialty treatment units. You're still talking about, you know, 20,000 Alabamians who are going to have have post COVID potentially to have post COVID symptoms. The biggest question, why? While some researchers have noted long haulers tend to skew female, doctors at Yale School of Medicine's post-COVID-19 recovery program aren't seeing any age group, race, or ethnicity impacted in particular. Patients continue to have impairments in um, physical functions. Some patients are having trouble with um, anxiety or, de or depression. Researchers at the University of Oxford found around one in five people with COVID go on to be diagnosed with a psychiatric disorder within three months, including depression, anxiety, and dementia. It seems that there is going to be an increase in, in, in um, uh, mental health demand, and, and so we need to be, to be ready for that. Preparing for the next phase of treatment for an illness that's infected millions in the U.S. Sarah Dolliff, NBC News. The U.S. just hit another record number of COVID-19 cases with over 204,000 on Wednesday. The previous record happened on November 20th with over 196,000 cases. Still ahead here at noon, Santa might have a sleigh full of gifts, but Mrs. Claus has a cookie recipe that's pretty darn special. That's why we're including it in this year's Christmas Cookie Countdown.